Yeah. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I've got Brandon. There we go. <laughs>
hurricane only gave us three days and I honestly couldn't have done it without them. And I'm very thankful for them. Honestly, here's a ring pop for you. <laughs> The pulled pork.
We got a little thing called the game around here. And what you do is you get out and you get involved with camp, get points for your team. We also have competitions in the evenings and the mornings to give your team points. On Friday morning, we will see you to die with saves. We see to die with Fishers of men. 
In John 143, the Bible says that the next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip, and what did he, he, what, he found Philip, and said, what did he say to him, somebody? Follow me. Do you know what Jesus is saying to you tonight? Not right off the bat. Quit playing games. Quit pretending. Come follow me. Guys, we're, we're, here, here's what it is. We're, we're just not going to try to, like, let, uh, you know, wait till, wait, wait, wait till Friday night. No, 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 no. No, every night, every moment, every chance. Here's what we're saying. Come follow me. Come follow me. Come follow me. See, this is why God is worthy of it all. Because he sees us and he seeks us and then he speaks to us. And he's inviting you tonight, young men, to come follow him. Young ladies, he's inviting you tonight to come follow him. Adult chaperones that may not know Jesus, he's inviting you to come follow him. Might I dare be so bold as to say, hey, youth pastors, youth leaders, those of us in ministry, before he ever calls us to anything else, he always first calls us to what? Follow him.